We're here at Lords today at the MCC Indoor Academy. I'm joined by batting coach Dave Houghton. Dave, uh, first week back with the boys. They've been working hard, obviously, in winter training. Lots of strength, lots of conditioning work. Your first day with them, how's it gone? Yeah, first day at Lords. We had a day yesterday, a bit of batting yesterday at uh, French Day as well. Um, not many lads around, to be honest. So it's, it's, it's a small squad. I mean, we're so blessed, aren't we? We've got probably eight of our team playing international cricket over the next month or so. So there's quite a few of them away. A lot of those are batsmen. Um, but really, the rest of the guys, it's just about getting a few off the middle of the bat, feeling good at this stage, and getting to know what it is they want to work on through the season, and we'll progress that over the next six weeks. So you've got a busy few months ahead. How do you uh, how do you ramp things up as we get nearer to the season? I, I, I try and process it with the guys. So I really want them feeling really good about how they're hitting the ball as we hit the first match. So at the moment, it's not trying to get too technical with things. It's just reinforcing the basics they've got, making sure that they're hitting the ball in the middle of the bat, feeling good about where they're striking the ball under their heads. And we'll progress that up and change to white balls and maybe bring in some sort of fancy hitting and whatever else they call the white ball cricket bat in these days. So we'll bring that in closer to the start of the season. Absolutely. Well, we're blessed to have Brendan McCullum joining us uh, for that white ball cricket. I guess not only with his expertise on the park, but his experience uh, in the game at large will probably benefit our younger lads massively, won't it? It'll be a massive benefit for the guys. Um, you know, to be able to have the opportunity to watch him bat, to bat with him, to talk to him in the change, and all of these things are all part of your learning as, as players, and you can never stop learning in this game. So I think that's a massive, massive signing for us. So, so pleased he's playing for us. Nice, Sal. Outside.
just as childish. Dave, you mentioned our, uh, our boys on international duty earlier on. Uh, you must be delighted about how well things are going for Compo over there. It doesn't look easy. He's just spent two days in the dirt, but uh, he's made the most of things at the back. Uh, he's doing exactly the right job. I mean, it's funny, I, I've thought Compo should have been in the side for the last year or so. So for me, it wasn't a surprise when they called him back in. But I think he adds a real stability to an order that has got so many good attacking batsmen to be able to bat round it. But you still need a pivot to hold the thing together. And I think him and Cook up in the front, all the stroke makers around, I think they've got the ideal set up there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Dave, thanks ever so much for your time this morning. Thanks for your insights and uh, good luck over the next few months. Thanks, Chris.